on your feet, get into gear and hit the street. Hey, you! Get moving, it's not too far, you're looking good, so come as you are. Hey, you! You never know what you see when you're through that door with the 7-3. Never seen nothing, no, not like this place, never been, no, no way, not ever, no, never seen no place, no way, similar, not like 73. Hey, you get ready, get on your feet, get into gear and hit the street. It's you that we want to see, so get down to 73. Get down to 73, hey, you get down to 73. Morning. Morning. Big day today. Ethel and Frederick Crossfield, bank manager, are getting married. And I feel terrible. See, me, Harry and the lads were out on the town last night celebrating Frederick's last day as a single man. And we didn't get in till five o'clock this morning. So, as you can imagine, we're all feeling a bit fragile. Mind you, you know, should cheer up when we see Ethel as the bride, all in white. Oh, hiya. Morning. Oh, that was a great I'm match, Junior. Ethel, I'll tell you, we were Ethel, brilliant. Ethel, we were going for it. What? You should all be in white. I am in white for the tennis tournament. That last service of yours, Junior, well, was... Hang on a sec, hang on a sec. Never mind service, you've got a wedding service in an hour and a half. An hour and a half? An hour and a half. Oh, great, because in 20 minutes' time there's another court for you down the lane. I don't know Brilliant. if another We should left. go down, we should. I think so, Junior, definitely. definitely, yeah. I don't believe this. She's a bit relaxed, isn't she? Tell you what, wish I was. Got loads of organising to do today. Loads of guests. Five star morning. This is for Ethel. Sorry, oh, we couldn't rap though. It's oh, the original. original. No yeah, problem. Original. Lovely. Oh, it's just what she always wanted. Oh, hey, listen, why don't you join the rest of the gang in the lounge for refreshments? Okay. I'll wrap this up and I'll put okay. it with the rest of the presents. Okay. See you later. What do you think then, Trevor, eh? Trev Trevor? I don't think you've been listening to a word I've said, have you? Well, listen, why don't you try taking your Walkmans off and then you might be able... Yeah, is that better? Good. I was just trying, Trevor, to explain the basic difference between flour and flowers. You see, mate, all I need is the sort of flour you put in me lapel. No, yeah, I can't put the other kind of flour in me lapel because I think it would look somewhat like dandruff, don't you think? Look, Trevor, I'm going to ask you once and ask you very nicely, can you just get 15 carnations round here, right? In 20 minutes. Thank you. Morning. I tell you what, that boy, he's so stupid, he's thick as ten loo doors. I don't know what to do with him. Still, I'm not going to let anything get me down or get me depressed on this very, very special occasion. <clears throat> I know what I'll do. I'll, sh I'll show you Ethel's wedding present. You're going to love this. Look at that. Sweet, eh? A gnome, two little spades in its bag. I mean, it's what every home needs, really, eh? Morning, Harry! Shh! I'm sorry. No, not you, love this. Why do they have to make it so loud? <laughs> So you're doing the flower arrangements then? Oh, very funny. <laughs> very funny. What you got in there? I've been down to the blooming bride. I've picked up the dresses. Really? Two bridesmaids for me and Dawn and the wedding dress. Oh, is it in there? Yeah. The wedding dress. Oh, let's have a look. No, no, no. It's very unlucky. You'll get to see it when you give the bride away. Give the bride. I don't know what I'm giving her away for. She won't mind to start with. <laughs> you thought about the speech, haven't you? Uh the spe no one said anything about a speech. I thought all I had to do was take her up the aisle, smile at everyone, go like this, like that, and say, here, take her away. The speech is very important. Harry, it's a big responsibility being the father of the bride. Father of the bride. I'm going to be a dad. And then Martina serves a fabulous smash! Oh, Ethel, now look what you've made me do. Oh, Dawn, for goodness sake, you're more nervous than I am. I'm nervous. I'm just trying to get you ready for your wedding. Now, look, you put that hair stuff on and I'll find a comb. Oh, all right, then. <laughs> hey, Dawn, is this supposed to be like that and smell Ethel. of old jeans? Oh, that's Harry's shaving foam. Oh. Come on, we're never going to be ready in time. Oh, dear. Hey, listen, thanks very much for the uh, for the party oh, last it's night. Good, it's good, it? Yeah, I don't know that bloke got home all right. I think he might have been a bit chilly. <laughs> now, look, you put your shoes on and I'll clear that oh. up. Okay. Right. Morning. Oh, what a morning. Just got back from the surgery. I'm trying to get Ethel ready for a wedding. I haven't got time to get ready myself. Oh, you don't think these shoes are too high, do you? Much too high. No, I'm standing on the loo. Well, you're never going to walk in those. Come on, you're going to have to practice. Walking? Walk Nobody said walking. You've got to go down the aisle. Now, come on, oh. let's have a practice. Get down your get. Yeah. Okay, right. Yeah. Don't go down the aisle, okay? Right, okay. Dun, 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 dun. Wow. Oh, oh. Ethel, this Listen, is there's not, not far to walk, is there? What? I mean, I thought David was bringing transportation. Yes, he is. He's bringing horses. Oh, that's great. Go to the wedding on horseback. I'll have to have a slit up the back of my wedding dress. New horse. Oh, you can hear the tennis. Hey. Oh, yeah, it's all. What are you doing? doing? Close no, no. that window. I asked you not to look in the yard. I was only looking at the tennis tournament. Are you thinking about anything other than tennis? Well, I... I've been thinking about weddings. Oh, that's oh. great. Yeah. Good. Because Slobodan Zavinovich, the Yugoslav hopeful, is getting married after we <gasps> Ethel. What? Perhaps 
Perhaps it'll shock you to know there's been a bloomer at the Blooming Bride. With what? Hmm? With the dress. What? Oh, what can go wrong? I mean, a white wedding dress is a white wedding well, dress. Well, yeah, normally, but yours is mustard. What? Oh, yes, no. ours are green and yours is mustard. Oh, that'll be terrific. Yes. The three of us going up the aisle looking like a mustard and cress sandwich. Mmm. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it serves you right. You've got to start taking this seriously. Uh, 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 now, there's one thing they haven't thought about. What? The accessories. Oh, I've got sweatbands, I've got the little sport bag. No, with the no, name no, of the wedding sport accessories. Bag. I mean, you know the old saying. Yeah, Marion haste, repent at leisure. No, something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. Oh. Right, so we've got to think of something old. That'd be Frederick. Thank you. Oh, we've got to think of something new. Be shoes. Oh. Something borrowed. That'd be the mortgage on the house. Yeah. And something blue. 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 The bath, bath mat. mat. Oh, I tell you, mate, that's the last late night I have up at the Bell. God, I could never look another party popper in the face again. Don't worry, mate. Have a slug of this and it'll soon sort your dicky tum out. Oh, cheers. Tom. Cheers. What is it? Prairie oyster, Worcester sauce, tomato juice and a raw egg. Neil, I can't drink this. Listen, console yourself with the fact that if you think we're feeling sick, think how the girls must be feeling after their night on the town. True. <laughs> have a good time, you two. All right, we did. I've got to thank you for that telegram number. It was great, it really <laughs> was. <laughs> I'm going to have a look at Ethel's wedding present now. Neil, oh, have you noticed that no matter how late girls seem to go out, they always look good after a night on the binge? Yeah. You know why that is, don't you? Why? Because they were only drinking orange juice. Ah. Oh. Neil? What? We were only drinking orange juice. Yeah. Baraz was fizzy, wasn't it? Ah, oh, yeah. Neil, get the blind, will ya? Why, have you got a sore eyes as well? No, but I've got Donald Duck in timber. Is that, uh, is that good for a headache, then, or what? No, but it's better than this rubbish, isn't it? Harry, down in one? Why not? Let's go for it. Do you know what, mate? Yeah. It's, it's amazing how much better you feel after a shave in a Donald Duck cartoon. Well, I don't feel too bad myself. That prairie oyster really worked, didn't it? I told you. Yeah, we ought to give something to Crossfield, though. Eh? State he was in last night. <laughs> <laughs> I wondered if he ever did get down from up there. Yeah, it'd make my life a lot easier if he never comes down, I tell you. How do you mean? Well, I just can't help feeling that this marriage, well, it's just a bit rushed, isn't it, eh? Yeah, but it's got to be rushed, hasn't it, because of his job offer in Bahrain? But that's no reason to get married just because of a job offer in Bahrain. Yeah, but that's not the only reason, Harry. They're in Hello, Hello, guys. Hi. Hey! Hey, hey lose the wet hands. All right. How are you? All right. We're just Go popped on. down for the wedding, you know. Great! Yeah. Yeah. I you, uh, oh, are these the prezzes? Some original presents. Oh, yeah. oh right. Uh, we'll just leave very, them there. Very special ones. Very, very tasteful up. as what's, well. What's going on out in the garden there? Ah, oh, that's Sir uh, Kim's big surprise for Ethel for the wedding, oh, yeah. you see. It, yeah, looks, but... it looks just like the... Um... Hey, Paul, it's what? supposed to be a surprise, It's mate. a surprise, you know. Ah. It's a surprise. OK. Oh, <gasps> Fred, it's just looking fantastic. Oh, I'm just... Please, I'm please. so pleased with it. Come round this way, Fred. This is Fred Darrington, and he's come from Weymouth today with a very, very special f surprise for Ethel's wedding. I'm not going to tell you too much about it, are we, Fred? Because it's our secret, really, it isn't is it? It is, rather, yes. I mean, when yes. I saw you in Weymouth building... I mean, we can't call them sandcastles, can we? I don't know. Everybody <laughs> still calls them sandcastles, <laughs> yes. Well, they're pretty they're elaborate yes, sandcastles, yes. Fred. How do you start your sandcastles? Well, just a pile of sand. Right. Make it wet. Yep. Is this special sand you're using? Oh, well, it, it's all limestone. From Weymouth, we get a pure limestone sand. Is that the only beach that has that kind of sand? As far as I know, yes. Goodness, yes, that's certainly fantastic. the only one in the country. Right. And you use seawater? And I use seawater, yeah. make it up into a shape, carve it out, yeah. and then apply the paint. Right. Now, I'm not going to let anyone know any more than that, because it's going to right. be a little surprise. Right I'm ever so pleased with it, though. She's going to be so thrilled. Good. She really is. Take these cheese from my heart. <laughs> Morning. <laughs> Morning. What's in there? Oh, no, 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 no. You're not allowed to look behind there, Jimmy. No, we're not going to have a dance. Come, <laughs> come through to the kitchen. Come with me. See you later, Fred. Bye. Jimmy's here. Good morning. Hello, Jimmy. Take him off the right, guest list. Rush him off the list. Hey, yeah. uh, the Redskins arrived yet? No. Oh, yes, they are. Just let them go down to uh, the cellar. Okay. Present there, boys. Well, Wedding present. <laughs> that, I'll have you know, I've searched high and low on one of them. <laughs> yeah. That's the only one of its kind in the world. Abruptly, <laughs> that. You'll yeah. never yeah. guess what it is. <laughs> very, kind <laughs> of, very kind of you, mate. Go that's for nice thought. Thought. not for you. A very nice thought. thought. I right. wonder what it is. Please. But he did say it was an original. Yeah, well, so's mine. You don't think it could be another... 
No. no. Anyway, look, about this wedding guest list, yeah. I just don't know where to seat everyone. You know, I don't know whether to put Mrs. Thatcher mm. next to Mr. Patel mm. or Mr. T, you see. Hang on, who's Mr. T? He's the dentist, isn't he? The Mr. dentist. Mr. T. Mr. T. Mr. T. Mr. T. Yeah, yes, that's I what so. I was going to say. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, listen, what? look at this. I've been saving some bubbly for a special occasion. Vintage, <laughs> ten weeks. <laughs> It's more like ten years, mate. What do you think? Well, today is a special occasion, isn't it? Yeah, I think we ought to give it, it to Ethel. Yeah? Hey, I've got a good idea. Yeah. You put the champagne in. All right. I think under here. Yeah. Here I've got some orange oh, juice. Oh, she alarmed. So that. why don't we make it a special wedding drink? Yeah. Champagne All right. and orange juice. Oh. Sit yourselves down. There you are. Perhaps I'll have to cough oh, you, right. you right. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Anybody uh, yeah. see my can of new balls? Uh, no, but we've got a surprise for you. Oh, Bucks Fizz. What? How did you know? Because they just came in with me. Here's their video. Do you want to stick it Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, orange juice. That's just a thing after a match. Uh, uh, now, what was the surprise? Uh, it doesn't matter. Come on, you lot. This really is the last chance to practice the bit with the bridesmaids, I don't OK? I want to practice that again, Kim, please. Ethel, aren't you worried about anything? Well, there is one thing I'm a bit worried about. What? Well, it, it's the honeymoon. Oh, it can often be an anxious time. But I know you're going to think this is silly. No, no. Go on, I'm broad-minded. Well, I'm, I'm very worried that we won't get back in time for the ladies' singles final. Get in that hall, Ethel, and start practising! What, the lobs? No, the march! Come on, Neil, come and be a bridesmaid! Oh, Kim, I'm not wearing that dress again. Hey, look, I'm ever so sorry about all the confusion, all the wedding... It's busy time, this wedding, you know. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you look very attractive, Cheryl. <laughs> Finish your apple off, love. All right. <laughs> Have you been to any good weddings oh. lately? Do you know? What? Do you know, yeah. Adrian Shepherd, my fiancé, asked me to marry him on the 29th of June, and I said I would. That's today. I know. And he just forgot about it. He didn't know. Well, that's Typical. nice, isn't it? That's <laughs> nice. You've got a new single out. Is this yeah, it? Yeah, this is it. This is it. This you... is Ethel's wedding present. You know how... Is that the, the video that you brought in? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. oh, let's have a look. Oh, good enough. Is it in the charts? Yeah, yeah in the charts. 43. 43. And... Like, you're all on your lonesome there. Mm. Yeah. Does it seem strange that after all these years, you've been working together as four, now working together as three for the record? Yeah, it's great. You like it? It doesn't make any difference, yeah. really. <laughs> in, in the shell had gone, but it still carried on. It's been Bucks Fizz like, solo, eh? Yeah. So, look, you're auditioning for a fourth member. Yeah. That's right. How's that yeah. been going? Well, we're down to about four or five now. Yeah. It's getting really difficult now. I suppose it's hard to find someone you'll get, get along with, isn't it? That's what's important. I mean, yeah. the, the four or five that we're left with can all sing and can all dance, so now it's really yeah. if they fit with us. I mean, they all do. That's why it's difficult, because the narrower the margin, the harder the decision is. Yeah, right. And you're getting a fourth member together for the tour coming up. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Where yeah. would that be taking you? Uh, we're well, for England. Starts yeah. on the 17th. 17th of August yeah. in Newcastle. Yeah? Yeah. Yes. We're looking forward walk to back it. to the uh, hotel. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this is the first gig that you've done together since the accident, isn't it? No, we, yeah. did, we did some little, some in, in clubs just to sort of get us yeah. back on our feet. But yeah. the, um... This is the first tour. Yeah. How are you yeah. feeling now? All right. I'm fine. Yeah, and the keyboard player, is he all He's right? He's much better. Yeah, yeah. much better. Great. Yeah. I mean, that must have been a rough time for all of you when the accident happened. Has yeah. it affected the way that you work together now? It's brought us a lot closer. Yeah. 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 All three of us, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see. <laughs>
It did seem but, to take a while to yeah. come out of it, but we're getting there, definitely. Yeah. One of the concerts you're doing is in... They've named uh, a trust after you or something, a fund. Yeah, yeah. It? It's, it's, what yeah. is that? The first aid we're doing is a charity for the... It's this horrible name, Mike Nolan Brain Damage. I think it's <laughs> an excellent name, <laughs> Gubby. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. Listen, but, but before you, you all got together uh, specifically for the Eurovision mm. Song Contest, didn't you? What was yeah, you uh, all doing before that? Well, I was uh, a solo star, but I decided <laughs> to come down a bit a and star. join the group. Yeah. <laughs> Bobby was a plumber. And um, Cheryl... <laughs> You're a plumber? Yeah, I'm a plumber. I thought you were in Jesus Christ Superstar. Yeah, I did. Well, they're all plumbers in that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was a plumber for years and then I, I got into this business. Yeah. God knows how. How, how did you get in? I started Sorry. working in pubs and clubs. Yeah. You know, just just, I, oh. And then I d did Superstar. I yeah. auditioned for that, got in there, and then it's just gone on from there. Yeah, what about you, Cho? What was you doing? Well, I was in a group called Coco. Coco. Oh, yeah! Oh, no, but that's the doorbell, well, believe it or not. <laughs> Listen, make yourselves at home. If I don't see you before I'm in the church, good luck with the record. Oh, and the tour, make yourselves at home. Right, see you thank you. Good to see you. Trevor, I just hope you've got this. I'll kill you! Hello, Flower. Matthew. <laughs> Matthew, yeah. of all people. <laughs> Yeah, come in here, Matthew. Thanks ever so oh, much for everything. Not at all, oh, That's no. great. Okay, it's I tell wonderful. You, look at the flower. Not over the top, really, is it, at Edward, all? Listen, you'll have your work cut out with this wedding business. Oh, no, I've been trying to think of a speech. Uh, yeah, I'll tell you what I've made go up. On, go on, See go what on. you think. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not so much losing a landlady, but gaining a bank manager. <laughs> I can't That's do pathetic. that really. I know. No, listen, yes. I'm very good at these speeches. Yes. What you want to yeah, do is on. do it like the weather forecast. You know, you say, tonight it'll be very close, mm. with a warm front, yeah. and the possibility of a little sun in the future. That's just as bad! Yeah, it's not good, it's awful! Well, when in doubt, be sincere. Just tell them how happy you are for them. You Ladies are and gentlemen, I am happy for it. Well, I think I'd better work on this one. Yeah, <laughs> hey, I'll come through here and we'll have a cup of coffee. Hiya, Matthew. Sorry, I can't stop, mate. I'm busy. Have you seen Ethel? Upstairs getting changed. Great, at last. She's taking yeah, this seriously. Right, see you later. Can that be serious? There was dust! Excuse me, any more chick out of you and you'll get six weeks on the Mike Reed programme. I want the referee! <laughs> Ethel! <laughs> uh, look, gang, if you want to use the facilities, the, uh, the loose free now, before the girls get in. Oh, hey, listen, do you want to take part in the mixed doubles? Because we're one short. Yeah. No, I can't. Why? Well, I haven't really got the right gear on for oh, it. Well, Come on now! Yeah, come on now! What are you talking about? Oh, it's come on, chat. Oh, hey, right. tell you what, we can finish the game in the box. Really really? I can't believe it. You started. I can't believe this girl today on her wedding day. What is this? Wait till you see this. It's a special menu, isn't it, for the wedding? What? There's the menu. Yeah. I've had these done specially. My idea. Personalised menus. Really? There's the menu. Yeah. And on the back, you've got Ethel and the happy man. Where? I can't see him. Watch this. This is where the Buchanan ingenuity comes in. Got menu. Them. Yeah. Fold these. Corners in. Yeah. There you go. You've got the happy couple there. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> and then you fold the other fold the other couple uh, right. corners in there. Hang on. Yeah. It's a bit complicated this. So. <gasps> You've got the happy it's the bride. bride. Good, isn't it? That's fantastic. I'll tell you what else I've done. Go on, then. I've done her a card from all of us. Yeah. There's you and Hazel. <laughs> yeah. And Fred the postman and Dawn. That's only four of us. Where's the rest of us? Yeah, but watch this. Fold it over there. Yeah. Fold it out. There's Martin oh, and Easy. Easy and Martin. Yeah. Yeah. And then in and there again. There's Fred Steve. and Dawn. And over again. 
And we're all in there somewhere. That is brilliant. But it's a bit complicated. Yeah, how did you make it then? Go on. I don't know. It was an accident. <laughs> you must know. Oh, honestly, I discovered it by accident. I'll tell you what I did do that. Uh, I wrote all the instructions down as I was going, yeah. and eventually I got it together, bunged it into the printers, and they've printed an extra 500 up. So we've got stacks over. So listen, if you fancy one of these to commemorate Ethel's special day, just write into us here, and we'll send you one of the wedding cards out, together with instructions. I'll have them printed on the back how to make them, because they can be a bit complicated, but they're great for birthday cards or maybe even your own wedding card. So you know the address by now, but I'll give it to you anyway. It's number 73, P.O. Box 73, Maidstone, Kent. ME 15 6 RS. Terrific. Okay. Yeah. What time the cater is coming? I just had Antonio on the phone, and you know what he's like. I said to him, we've got an extra three people coming. He said, oh, I can't run to do it for an extra <laughs> three people. It's a special recipe. <laughs> so uh, he went bananas, and he said no more. Ah, oh, but he's... he's heard about the Redskins, yeah? Well... Yeah, he's just bought the new single, no, Bring It Down. No, I mean the food. Feeding them. Well, I didn't make a reservation for them. Neil! Ladies and gentlemen, one year's conscripts, bring it down.
Do, do, do. Uh, that might be a bit of a bit of a problem. Eh? What are you doing? I'm boiling the rice, and I what's it look like I'm doing? What were you doing that for? Well, Trevor, he forgot the confetti, didn't he? So someone told me that it was once traditional to throw rice at the bride and groom. <laughs> yeah, but you don't have to boil it first. You throw it raw. Do you? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. I'll throw this away and I'll get some no, more no, out no, of the packet. No, look, what? don't throw it away because there might be a bit of a problem with the food. Oh, why's that? Well, I didn't know the Redskins were coming and we might have enough to go round. Oh, Neil, you're not asking me to ask people to throw it at the bride and groom and then pick it up off the floor and eat it. No, stupid. They eat it first. Oh, will you stop exercising? Look, look, come and look at the cake. Oh. Come on, everybody, look yeah, at the yeah, nice yeah. cake. Oh, come yeah. on. Yeah. Nice, isn't it yeah. good? Who's that? Are you and Mr Crossfield? Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. That's after all falling off the cake. Uh, yeah. I mean, I mean, anyway, because I'm not that slim. <laughs> if you would have been, if you'd have stuck to that diet you started. Oh, do you remember that? Oh, oh and that. we had all them cream oh, yeah. buns and you <laughs> went <laughs> cream looking for <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh dear, of course, uh, it won't be like that again, will it? No. Oh, don't worry about it. I mean, he's quite together, isn't he, Mr Oh, yeah, 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 particular, I would have called mm, it. Fussy. No, he's set in his ways, I think that's what it is. I mean, as long as he gets his own study in the house, he'll be fine. Mm. There isn't a study in the house. Yeah, but there's always Harry's room. <laughs> hey, wait a minute, one minute, Harry's old room. I haven't left yet. No, don't, well, you're not going anywhere. Everything will be sorted. Or oh, speaking of which, did you order smoked salmon sandwiches from the caterers? No problem, Because Frederick hates those. The salmon was off. Oh, right. mm. Listen, as the mm. calm before the storm, yeah. why don't you watch the last episode of Three Musketeers, eh? Oh, right, good idea. Good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't forget the others. Right. right, here we go with episode five of the Three Musketeers. Now, so far, the Musketeers have been able to retrieve the jewels that the Queen gave to the Duke of Ellington. The Musketeers have missed the boat, and we don't know whether the Queen will get them back in time for the party. So that's like the party going on over there. So let's have a look and see whether the Cardinal will have his evil way and get the Queen beheaded, or whether she will get the jewels back in time as we go through episode five of The Three These two diamonds will be the Queen's undoing. They will pr prove her love affair with the Duke of Ellington. What news of the Musketeers? They are still in England. They will never reach France in time. Cool. How does that ever swim? What are you going to do about the missing jewels? I have an idea. Now we're in France. Follow me. Here we are. Maurice Dance. Ah! No, 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 no! I come! Do you think you could make two exact replicas of these? I don't know, it's the dilithium crystals. What are you saying? I ain't got the power. How long will it take you? About 12 hours. Well, you've got five minutes. I'll see what I can do. Uh, if I might have just finished the guest list, sir. Oh, very well. There's the Spanish ambassador, Senor Amada. And the German ambassador, hairdresser. Hairdresser, yes. Isn't his wife Welsh? Yes, she's a Welsh dresser. Mm. And finally, Pomfret, how do you spell that, sir? Eh? One T. Oh, make that two T's. Oh, yes, and I'll have two T's too. And a can of lager. Your Majesty, a word about the Queen. Yes? Grotesque. What? She will look grotesque at the ball if she's not wearing a birthday jewel. Oh, yes. Uh, Queenie, at the ball tonight, don't forget to wear your birthday suit. Our uh, birthday jewels. Oh, I can't think about them now because I haven't got them. I'm too busy trying on my new crown. Thank you, crown merchant. Well, what do you think? Fit for a queen. I should hope so. The last one didn't fit at all. It chafed me badly, didn't you know, I? came out in spots. Well, they must have made it in a bit of a rash. <laughs> a bit of a rash. <laughs> well, are you looking forward to this evening, dearie? Oh, yes, I love a good ball. Yeah, well, well, don't forget your jewels. I can't forget my jewels. I keep banging on about them. <laughs> oh, I hope the musketeers get here on time. They must. The musketeers realised it was urgent to return to the Queen. Did this mean they would ride faster? Probably not. The Majesties! 
the king and queen of France. What are you doing, dear? It's this can of lager. It's so cold, it's stuck to my hand. It will wave. That woman has got to go. She hasn't got the jewels on her. Ha, <clears throat> ah, Shandy, all three musketeers here yet? No, Your Majesty. Oh, I hope Athos is all right. I see the Cardinal's talking about me. I'll have to use delaying tactics. I'll make a speech. Ladies and gentlemen, on this the occasion of my 25th wedding anniversary, I'd just like to say two or three words about being queen. I hate it. That's three words, isn't it? 25 years of marriage. And that's why we're here today, to celebrate what is a milestone around my neck. Have I forgotten anything? The Jews, Your Majesty. Trust Wallaby features here to remember that. I'll just go and fetch them, I hope. I'd like to say how much I enjoyed the Queen's speech, particularly the parts where she was coherent. Oh, what are we gonna do, Shandy? It's times like this I really hate being the Queen. I wish I were back home. I really miss Alice Springs. Your hometown? No, friend of mine at school. Cheer yourself up, madam. Do have one of these chocolates. Oh, thank you. Where did these come from? From us. Those curtains spoke. You're back. Why? What's the matter with you? Thanks for the chocolates, but I was rather hoping you'd have the diamonds. Open the box. Beautiful. To think I gave these to the Duke of Illington. I must have been balmy. Chandelier, next time I want to give a token of my affection, remind me to make it a book token. Chandelier, I brought something for you too. Oh, Athos. More diamonds. You shouldn't have. You didn't. They're chocolates. It's the thought that counts. It's the money. Ooh. Right. Now that I have the jewels on, let's go to the ball. <laughs> and the butler said she's out for the count. In fact, she's out for anyone else who might happen to call. <laughs> and shouldn't fish me. Very droll, Your Majesty. The Queen's a long time. Majesty the Queen! Ah, I wonder if that's her now. Sir, Your Majesty, did you find, fetch the jewels? You're boobed this time, Caddy, for I wear them here. Ah. Tell me, Cardinal, have you met my three musketeers? Ma. It's amazing how dazzling ten diamonds can be. I think you'll find there are twelve. Count them, would you, dear? In that case, how do you explain these? Oh, earrings. How kind. I match. Ten, eleven, twelve, and two earrings, fourteen. I always knew I could count on you. There. How lovely you look. Shall we dance? Oh. I don't mind if I do. <laughs> <laughs> you know, old girl, I can't see why we can't get on, you and I. Let's try and put a bit of poetry back into our marriage. Ah, poetry. I know a bank where the wild thyme blows. Really? Well, let's go there and have a wild time. You're on! Our plan is foiled. However, we shall live to fight another day. Surely not in France. Of course not. Where then? I hear Brazil is very pleasant at this time of year. Let's go. 
But wait, surely they'll see us leaving. Not in the dark, they won't. I'm really looking forward to this wild time. Wait a moment, the lights have gone out. Oh, it reminds me of our courting days. I say, I'm, I'm so glad we're giving our marriage one last shot. Oh, 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 you are the light of my life. But I must go now, for we have many tasks to perform before you and I marry. Oh. One for all and oh. one for one. Oh. 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 Stop marketing. Oh. Don't stop me. We're always on. We're always on. Did, shouldn't you? Oh, well, the time. Oh, right. Here, listen there, gang. Can you sign the guest book before we go to the church? You know, right, just then. autograph yeah. and everything. Well, well, next Neil. Neil. Kim, will you take her out and get a dress? I've been trying, oh, Neil. Oh, oh, Kim, I'd like to have a word with you, actually. I'm a little yeah. bit worried about the bath. Yeah. Oh, well, you mean it's sort of the wrong shade of blue? No, I just think it's a bit too big, really. Oh. What about a J-cloth? Kim. Look, I'll go and look for something in the dressing-up trunk in the shed. No! No, you can't go out there. No, because there's this big little... Look, just go and look somewhere else. Harry, why are you cooking rice? Ah, uh, uh, I'm glad you asked me that, cos, um, I'm hungry. Oh, right. Well, That's how's the speech going? Oh, not bad. Do you want to hear it? Yeah, OK, on, you pretend on. you're the audience the and audience I'll too. tell you. Right, yeah. OK. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen. Yes? No, that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it. That's it? Yeah. Oh, Fred, it's absolutely fantastic. Oh. Please. Do you don't know what to say? I mean, it's wonderful. That is just sand, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Sand, water, Sail right the way through. Sail and some water. and some paint. And just a bit of paint. I mean, look at the detail in the roof. And there's the door. The door is absolutely marvellous. How long has that taken you to make, from beginning to end? Uh, just on twelve hours. Goodness, that's incredible. And how long do you actually expect it to last before it will crack or crumble? Normally, it would last about three months in the open. As long as that? Yes, always. Do you get a bit yeah. sad when you see it start to fade? Not really. I like to do something else. Right. Do you ever knock them down? Or do you Occasionally, just... I have to. Oh, yes. I couldn't bear it. I couldn't bear to watch it. And what actually, how did you start? I mean, was it bucket and spade in the seaside? And Well, when I started, yes, I was just making balls of sand mm. when we were kids and then rolling them in the, the wet sand into the dry sand, yeah. throwing them at each other like a little bombardment, see? <laughs> and then it turned into Easter eggs and submarines and tanks and... Got bigger and bigger. ...houses, churches, anything. It just... <laughs> it was a challenge all the time. What inspired you to start painting them? Um, I think it was... Um, well, when King Kong picture came out... Yeah. I did this big Kong, he's about eight foot tall. Yeah. I opened his mouth, put a lot of teeth in there. And I said, well, they'd look better if they were white. And I suddenly had an idea that a cake of Blanco, the old army Blanco, was the ideal thing. So, right, that was it. And there was the start of my colour. <gasps> Previous to that, I used to pump it in with a flit sprayer. And, of course, that went into the sand right. and just disappeared. Now, this is the whitewash in your paints here, isn't it? Well, that's the basic colour. You put that on and yeah. then it's like painting on... And the on sand just doesn't struggle. soak the colour up, no? It would do normally, but when this is on there, you see... Yeah. Like, like that. Uh-huh. Just paint that over like that. Right. Give it a coat of whiting. So the white which, which is chalk. Whitewash in the old days. Makes a good base. And that's the base. To of take the colour. colour. Right. Now what I'd like to have a look at is this book of yours. Because it can we can see here some of the extraordinary sand sculptures that you have done. Now this top one here. That's the current model. There is a picture going now with the never ever ending story. Right, which is a new film. Do you try and keep fairly topical? I do. Yes, it's always wise to do that. Yes. Especially with kiddies' things. They love to yes, see Yes, absolutely. Then we've attraction. got the Muppets. The Muppets, of course, yes. Yeah. Now, the seahorses. Sea horses. That's my favourite, actually. The well, colours are beautiful. Uh, everybody likes horses. Oh. Horses and monkeys, I find, are really favourite. Oh, that's great. Now, Tutankhamun is pretty special, isn't it? It is, rather, well, yes. That was... Um... How long did this take you to make? Well, that model took me four days to do that part. The oh. whole thing, I think, was about eight days' work. And how large would he be? Um, the full size? Yes. Oh, yes, full size. 
The, Ten uh, feet, the mask even... actually is the same size as the, as the original. Wow, And it's huge. covered with gold paint. Oh. And after successive layers of gold paint, I could literally bring it away as a gold mask. Right. Do you ever have any trouble with vandals if they just I'm sit on the picture? I'm afraid so, beach? yes. Well, this one, for instance, the, the um, Charles, Charles and Di. After completing it to that point, somebody got in and decided they wanted to find out if it was sand. They went like that, knocked her head off oh. and damaged all this. So I had to rebuild that, that. And by the time I'd got that done, I had to rebuild the, the, the uniform. Are their clothes real? Oh, no. They're no. painted oh, as well. That was, oh. that was a dear old lady in her 80s. <laughs> she came down, she said, Mr. Darrington, tell me, if it's not a secret, where did you get the uniform? <laughs> That's lovely, Fred. Yeah. Well, the food looks great as well. Do you know, I think we should actually put this on the buffet, cos I reckon it looks good enough to eat, you know that. People have thoughts. Yeah, yes, Antonio, I know it's a special recipe handed down through your family, generations, but you've already fitted an extra three people in. Surely you can just fit the Redskins in another six? Well, listen, can't, can't you bunger in a couple of chips? Well, if that's the way you feel about it, you know what you can do with it, don't you? Do with what? Oh, nothing. Don't worry about it. Look at this fabulous card of ever imagination. It's such a shame they couldn't come. Great. There you look. I know you think I've been a bit flippant about the tennis, but, well, I really am worried about the doubles match. I don't believe this. What? Have you got any cocktail sticks? It's a funny thing not to believe. No, but there's toothpicks in the bathroom. Oh. Hey, chaps, look at this card. It's I just a ride from imagination. Oh, yeah, let's see. Have a look at the inside. Oh, hey, smashing. Ridley and Errol and that's Ashley, nice the boys. nice one to do that. Yeah. Was it so you found your man, and indeed you have. Hey, that's the name of their last single, Wait, wasn't was it? Wait, was it You Found My you Girl? Was it Found My Girl? Yeah, yeah that's it. What's yeah. your yeah. single called now for? Well, the next one's called yeah. Alone Without You. Uh, have you got video coming out? Yeah, we've just we've just been filming it. We're out in Greece doing promotions. So like for some, isn't it? Yeah. We found the visitor's book from them. Yeah, I've already You've done it. Great. Yeah. Oh, Great. Do you want to uh, draw the winner? Oh, yeah, Here we go. Okay, this is the 73 Visitors book. So going to somebody who's got book. the autographs okay. of everybody who's been to the house. And it's going to... Uh, Tracy Matthews of uh, Bovart Road, Hucknall, Nottingham. OK, now, yeah. make sure she's got the answers right. right. Let me have a look. I've got to get to the yep. questions out of the book here. OK, the first question was, who helped Kim with the plumbing? King. No, you. who helped Kim with the plumbing? <laughs> oh, maybe that's who sprayed Did Dawn's you? boots, perhaps it's in the wrong order. Uh. Who helped Kim with the plumbing? It's Jimmy Nail on there. <gasps> oh, yes. OK, who sprayed Dawn's boots? Uh, that's it me. was you. <laughs> Who played the piano for Radio Shade? Uh, well, let me see. There's Jules. two choices. Yes, Jules Holland. Holland yeah. Who signed the book twice? David Essex. He certainly did. Oh, OK, that's, that's going to be on its around. way to you. Let me just get an envelope. I'll stick that in and we will send it off post haste. Oh, mm. Two bits of good news. Oh, yes. I found you something blue. What is that? Nice bit of blue cheese. I can't wear that. No, but we can eat it, can't we? Well, what's the other bit of good news? The horses have arrived. Oh, great. Hey, hey fellas, come and have a look at the horses. Look. Listen, don't, don't look, don't take it. Oh. I don't believe this, Dawn. That's typical. Oh, look at that. If you hitch those up to the cart, it'll go round in circles. That's all they had, Neil. Just don't worry about it. It'll give everyone a bit longer to look at your dress, Ethel. But if you ever get in it... See that out there? See? That's fate, that is fate. I knew that something was going to go wrong. It's an omen. I don't know, I think they look quite sweet. Ethel, what are you still doing it? I'm looking at the horses. Go and get ready. Oh, Kim, you're always rushing me. You're getting married in half an hour. Rushing her. Honestly, Neil, I just don't think she's interested. Well, let's just call the old thing off, shall we? Yeah, I mean, there's a problem with the caterers. Hang, Kim, there's no problem with the caterers. Why not? They're not coming, no problem. See, what did I tell you? Disastrous. Disastrous. Oh, come on, you two. Just stop it. 
will you stop being so negative? Listen, don't you think we owe it to Ethel to make this day a special day for her? Agreed? Yeah. Right, Harry, phone the minicabs. Kim, you can help me with the food. Mini -cabs. What about the horses? Well, they can eat straw. <laughs> David, what are you doing with that stick? Well, I've just been measuring this horse here, Musketeer, with my measuring stick, and he's 17 hands, three inches oh, high. Oh, that's pretty big. What about this little one? What's well, it? he's actually only seven hands oh. high. Let me see what, how high you are. Come round here. Me? Then. How many hands I am? <laughs> yeah, I'll do you from the head. Normally, horses are done from the shoulder, but there we are. Oh, well, just about 17 hands do. So I'm a big horse too. You are indeed. I've always wanted to know, what is a hand? Well, a hand is a thing that the Queen waves as she goes... Don't be silly, no, David. You know what I mean. No, it really is. That's the whole point. You see, a hand is the old measurement of a horse. It's about four inches, because people used to measure horses like that. Like so. And it's the width of a horse, roughly. I'm sorry, the width <laughs> of a hand from there to there. So this means that this little one here, being under 14 hands, is a pony, yeah? Oh, well, ponies are under 14 hands, but that's not a pony. That's a horse. What do you mean? Don't be silly. Of course it's a pony. Look at it. Well, it isn't, actually. That's a Falabella, a miniature horse. And I know it's so tiny. I mean, it's so easy to pick up in your hands. But there's a very special reason. You see, if you look at that animal, it doesn't really look quite a pony shape. It's got a very delicate, almost thoroughbred head, very fine legs. It's got the shape of a miniature racehorse. And in actual fact, that sort of little horse can run faster over 100 yards, 100 metres, than a thoroughbred racehorse. Never. So. They are different, it's the shape. But other than that, their origins are very mysterious, you know. Falabellas really come from Argentina, and they're very, very rare in Europe. We don't really know how it all began, but some people say that a little stallion horse was found coming out of the forest, and it was crossed by a Mr. Falabella with some ordinary bigger horses, and it started to produce this wonderful breed of miniature horses of all sorts of colours like this. Because I picked this grey one with black spots on to match my suit and everything for the wedding. Looks <laughs> more like a Dalmatian dog. Yes, it does. What about it? this one? He's lovely. Well, isn't he? he's special as well. This, of course, is a marvellous Shire horse. And he's got a wonderful history. You see, he started off on the banks of the River Trent up uh, there, and he was a workhorse pulling carts and ploughs. But his speciality, when he was about two and a half years old, was pulling logs out of a river. Then he moved on to greater things. He moved to pulling a dray for a brewery round the streets not very far from here. Lovely. Then he moved on to something even bigger. What's he's, that? Well, he's one of those horses that pull the Lord Mayor of London's coach. That's very grand, very isn't it? Very famous. Why don't we see them ploughing the fields anymore? It's sad, isn't it? But in actual fact, they are coming back a little bit because people realise that these animals are pollution-free. They don't make any mess of smoke and oil and all that sort of stuff, and they produce their own manure. I'd like to see a lot more of them come back. Do they cost a lot to keep? Well, of course, this one will cost about... Oh, several hundred pounds a month to feed, but the little fellow there, well, he's very, very economic, but an expensive <laughs> animal. Anyway, I don't think we've done a very good job of this. We'll have to take him back to the surgery. That's right. Well, come, come on, on then, little fellow Bella. Come on. Come on. Come on, let me Right, well, we're just going to have to make do with this, aren't we? Spaghetti hoops and spinach on right. a stick. What about that baked bean on stick? Kim, you can't give them baked beans at a wedding. It's just an old wives' tale, Neil. OK, thanks. All right, bye. Great, that's the car fix. It's going to get here at um, about half eleven, I think, right. ten past eleven, Good. ten to eleven, I don't know. But it's not a luxury limo and it's not a chauffeur driven car. Ooh. It's in actual fact um, a mini mini cab. Mini well, that doesn't sound very big. Don't, don't worry about it. That was just a, a little person. It's true. Uh, yeah, come and help us, Harry. Come and help us with the food. I've had all the phoning and everything I'm going to do for one day. I'm going to watch a cartoon. Are you practising giving her away yet? Oh, yes, I have, actually. I'm glad you asked me that because, um, well, you pretend to be Ethel and okay. I'll show you, right? Okay. We're at the church, we're going up the aisle, there's the vicar, there's Crossfield, right? And we go up, we smile at everyone. Yeah, smile. Hello, vicar, there's Crossfield. Hello, vicar. And I go, here. No, Harry, I don't think you quite got it. Something a little bit uh, subtler. Subtler? Yes. Yeah. Sattler. Yeah. Okay, um, going up the aisle, there's Wave. the vicar, Crossfield. Yeah, I seem to have found this. Is it yours? I think I prefer here best. Right. Oh, now, what about uh, prune on stick? Hey, now, hang on. <laughs> That's not an old wives' tale. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm actually quite enjoying myself now. Yeah. I mean, when you look at Ethel, she's beaming, isn't she? She's blooming. Happy as a sandboy. She's great. Yeah, I'm so... I feel faint. Oh. Ethel, what's the matter? Well, I just realised I'm... 
I'm getting married in 20 she minutes. Oh, the pen is dropped. She's getting married in 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Oh, Ethel, look. Come and get dressed, eh? Dress. Come on. Yes. Yeah. Oh, we'll take, take her away. Take her away. She's so happy. Yeah. Dear, oh, dear. Hey, listen, uh, time's getting on, mate. So I reckon we better start getting spruced yeah, up, don't you? Yeah, help us with me tie. Sure, can you do mine? I'm done. Yeah, I'm pretty good sure. at doing this. Oh, listen, uh, I just wanted to talk to you about something, you know. Yeah. You keep going on as if... You don't want Ethel to get married, I mean... Well, can you blame me? Can you blame me? Do you want to know what's wrong, in a word? Yeah. Crossfield. What's wrong with it? Oh, come on, mate. It takes no genius to work out. He's the sort of guy that'll come in here, legs on the table. I don't know, he'll take over the place, wouldn't he? No, he's not that bad. He's all right. Well, not only that, I just... I don't know, we're losing Ethel in a way when they get married. I mean, I think a lot of her, mate. She's been like a mum, she's like a sister. No, and above all, she's a mate to me. I just feel like I'm losing her, that's all. Rubbish, she'll still be around, I'm telling you. I don't know. This wedding mean, means one thing to me, I tell you. Well, well we're going to have to go our separate ways for a start. Yeah, I'll get out of it. Hey. Hey. It's just that I'm confused. I mean, getting married such an old-fashioned thing to do. Oh, well, I... Fedrick's old-fashioned. Well, I mean, I can't marry him just because if I don't, it'll upset him. And I... Well, I'm... I like my life with my but... friends. I tell you what, we'll draw up a list, OK? Fours and against. Yeah. We'll start with the against. Okay. He's fussy. He's boring. He's going to take Harry's room. He's boring. He's getting old. He's very boring. I think he's going a bit bald. And he's boring. And he's too tall. He's very, very mm. boring. And I love him. Oh. You're getting married. Yeah, come on. Are you sure? Yes. Can I wear my plimp No. But I'll let you wear your sweatband as a garter. Oh, OK. Typical, in it, eh? We're all spruced up, ready to go, waiting for the women again. And they're upstairs getting ready in the bathroom. I can't believe it. What's the time? It's nearly 11. Go on, go on, I'll have to get... If the food's sorted, I'll make it for all right. Well, I'm going to watch a cartoon. Hey, hang on a sec. Come and help us with this, will you? Roadrunner in zip and snort. All what right. Anything to help a mate. Cheers, mate. Not you, Ethel.
Well, I reckon uh, that's One about minute. it, mate. Let me just switch the projector off. All right, that's it. That's yeah. a good job. To we have not done a bad job at all. Put it there. Yeah, chaps. What was it? All right, I'm down with the food. Yes. And this is this it. is a spread, mate. What do you think? This is this is it. Yes. What's all this? Well, it's, it's, it's jam, isn't it? We're having doings on sticks, I suppose. Pardon? Doings well, on sticks. What do you suggest then, well, Why Matthew? don't you just do butties? Don't mess about with this lot. What didn't we think of that? We just have. Butties it is. Well, you right. take the gear over there. Yeah. As you don't okay. do volivants, I hate volivants. <laughs> <laughs> hey, mate, it's, uh, it's good of you to come to the wedding. Like, what have you been up to? Oh, not at all. Well, actually, I had to be in Maidstone anyway, because I'm working on a new show here. Oh, what's that? I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly's Eye. It's called Kelly's Eye. Okay. You mustn't forget it, right? It's, it's coming out in uh, July, July the 20th. And what, what's it all about? Well, it's a sketch show. I've never done anything like it before, oh. actually. And uh, I just uh, do sketches and I look at life, you see. Like, yeah. the first one is about luck and fate and yeah. stuff like that. And I've got four people working with me. Yeah. And uh, you'll, you'll have seen... You won't know them, but you'll have seen them. They're ever so yeah. clever. Yeah. And they're really funny. And we've got uh, pop groups and things on. Yeah. We've got people like Phyllis Nelson, Harvey and the Wallbangers are doing... Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Great. It's, it's, it's a funny guests. dial count. Oh, we've got King on as well. I've just really? met him today, the yeah. first time. They're great, they're yeah. Good, eh? Is it funny? Well, if it isn't, I'm out of a job. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be bizarre. Yeah. Nine years. So what sorts of things did you do in it? Oh, well, oh, we had to, I did this sketch about a, a funeral. Yeah. And I, I know death isn't funny, but I, I, I couldn't do it for laughing. Why? So, oh, you I were just know, laughing? I don't know, I suppose it, it must be nerves. Yeah. I think things about death make me laugh. Yeah. <laughs> well, last time you were here, do you remember, you, you've been travelling quite a bit, haven't you? Oh, yes, I did. i just come back from Nepal. We yeah. did uh, a yeah. programme called Adventure of a Lifetime. Did you see it? I didn't see it, mate. Oh, I did. It? Did you not see no. it? Oh, well, you'll get a second chance, because I think August the 3rd <laughs> is coming out again. Okay. It's terrible. 10.30 <laughs> in the morning it's coming out. We're doing six of them. It's where I took uh, six children on an yeah. expedition. Mm. They won this competition, mm -hmm. you see. And we went uh, trekking in the Himalayas and we went rafting down the white water of the oh, Trasuli right. River. We went on safari on elephant back. It was fantastic. Any particular skip? I remember you saying you nearly trod on a scorpion. Oh no! Last I was, time you went, was, I was it a doing. A, we, we, we were doing this interview round a, a, a round a campfire at night, you know, yeah. mm -hmm. and. Uh, this scorpion went up my trouser leg. <laughs> Is it still you, there? You can... <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> Stop it. No, one of the children saw it. He said, oh, Matthew, a scorpion's just gone up your trouser leg. I said, what? <laughs> I'm not very brave at things like that, I have to say. So you've been getting out and about a bit? Oh, I Hey, listen, yeah. maybe uh, you'd be able to give uh, Ethel and Frederick oh. some advice on the honeymoon. Oh, Neil, please. Oh, please. <laughs> oh this no, is a family no, show. No, not that. The, the travel, you know. Where oh, to go on all that? Yeah, Skegness is very tight. Very nice this time of year. <laughs> I didn't go to no, oh no, no. What no. experience have you had? I went to Wilmslow for my honeymoon. Did, Did you? you? Yes. Oh, I... oh, that's nice. My wedding's <laughs> the only one I've been to. I loved it. You, you've never been to another wedding? Yeah. No, I've, I've, uh, I went to Sue Pollard's Blessing. Oh, really? She had her wedding blessing. I bet blessing. that was a, <laughs> it was a long one as well. It was, <laughs> <laughs> it was great. I love them. Yeah, yeah. me too. They're yeah. great parties, they are. Yeah. What, what, what sort of things did you... What did you have to eat? What was your favourite to eat? Yeah, well, we had volivants, eh? <laughs> volivants? It's all we... Hey, Matthew, with all the things that you've done mm. in the past, is there any ambitions that you've got left to do now? Ambitions? Oh, loads. Have you? Yes. Yeah. Well, I'd like to be rich and famous for a start. <laughs> <laughs> but you're nearly there. I'd love to win an Oscar, do you know that? It's getting a bit yeah. late, like, innit? I, yeah. I wonder where the girls are. I what? don't know. Is Ethel getting ready now? Yeah, well, well we, do... we do hope so. Where we'll is she? Hey, Ethel! Well, I thought well, we were... Well, don't you think you ought to... Uh... Hey, girls! Pull you ready, yeah, or what? Call the house call and get everyone together. Well, hang on a sec! We weren't supposed to see them in the way. Oh, oh, the rest oh, of the Get in, gang, get in, gang, because uh, they're going to make the big entrance. They're coming in. Yeah, I'm coming. All right, girls, you can come on in now. I can't wait to see them. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, oh girls. Right. Girls. Yeah. Ethel, you look you're lovely. Right. Oh, well, fantastic. Oh, oh, you look wonderful. Thanks. Thank you. Nice. Beautiful. Here, uh, Thank you, Ethel, uh, yes. I think you might look a bit better with a penny on. I'm not wearing that. Yeah, we're, oh, we're, no. We've had uh, a bit of a problem with the catering and what? we might have to do this, some sandwiches, you know what I mean? Go on, Apple. Go you on, one more time. Yeah. Go on, go <laughs> for it, go, go for it. All right, then. Oh, 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 Look at me, we're going to get up here. Cheryl, you going to come and join us? Yes. Cheryl, yes. come on. Oh, Cheryl, come on. Come and have a laugh. Here we go. So, clearing gas, we have to finally know. Sometimes more exciting than we think. OK, could I have your name, please? Yes, uh, Matthew Kelly. How do you do? Like, sir, Matthew Kelly. How do you do that? It's absolutely delightful. And, and could I have your name, please? Cheryl Baker. Cheryl Baker! Oh, oh, we want Cheryl! A little bit of pie is there. 
You have to talk to Cheryl about that later, Jimmy. Now, uh, what you do is you grab a knife here, and right. if you think you know the answer, back to the hilt of your knife on the table, Tom. I hope you're going to play this at home. Here's an open question either of you can answer. Who normally gives the bride away? Yeah, Cheryl, I think um, just never... Yes. Best man. No! no. Oh. It's the father! It's the daddy! Yeah. Absolutely yeah. right. That's a trick question. It was a trick question. There's a piece of bread for you. Now, here's your filling question. This is just for, uh, right. just for him, so you should keep right. still on this one. What I want you to do is I want you to impersonate a spring chicken. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> that's the spring that part. Was the spring. Oh, no, that was the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so that's one to you. That's one to thank Matthew you, Kelly you. there. OK, I'm taking out a current affairs oh. question. Getting ahead of myself. Here's an open question. Here's your chance to catch up. OK, now, this, you'll get this one. Who stands next to the best man? Yes. The groom. The, the groom, absolutely right. <laughs> <great. laughs> that was also a riding question, that one. OK, let's be some bread for you. Here's what I want you to do for your filler. I want you to impersonate a newscaster announcing a really important parliamentary decision. This is a really important parliamentary decision. <laughs> Some curry powders, very nice on that. Okay, here's an open question either of you can answer. When did Charles and Di get married? Yes? Go on, Matthew. <laughs> 19. Yes? Take your time, Matthew. No, not right. 1980. I was going to say on their oh, wedding day. Oh, no, yeah. that's, that's, that's absolutely right, on their wedding day. I think we'll accept that. The uh, answer, of course, was 1981. So, this piece of bread to you here go with the filling question. OK, what I want you to do is do an impression of an auctioneer. You can auction off this curry powder if you like. There you go. Uh, <laughs> I'll buy it. <laughs> OK, it's sold to Matthew. That's going very well. Thank you. OK, there we go. So, that's another same filling. Make a sandwich there. That's two okay. sandwiches to one. Now, come on, Matthew, here's your chance to catch up. What I want you to do, open question either of you can answer. If the server scores the the first point in a game of tennis, what does the umpire shout? I, uh, yeah, uh, which side? Matthew, uh, I, think, I think it was Matthew. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah. Yes. yeah what 15 love. 15 yes, love! Thank you. You're absolutely right. If it's McEnroe, shouts out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what we're going to do is give you a filling question. You can put a piece of bread on top of that. Finish it up. Oh, it's a crust. I like a crust, don't you? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I like a crust. <laughs> okay, what I want you to do is I want you to stand on your left leg, hold your right foot, <laughs> yes. and straighten your right leg. Stand on your left leg, hold your right foot. I want basically want you to do a bit of ballet here. I think this is what we're talking about. Oh! Fitness! The personification of fitness. OK, open question, it's two each. Here's your, here's your chance to uh, win the left. When does the umpire call juice? Yes. Ah. When they're both 48. Absolutely right. When they both reach 40 or when they're extremely thirsty. Thirsty. Thirsty, thirsty. Thirsty or thirsty. Yeah. 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 OK, so here's your filling question. What I want you to do is I want you to put your... No, I can't ask you to do that. Just <laughs> <laughs> Come on. What I want you to do is do an entire rock opera in 15 seconds. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> what was Jimmy that? liked it. Yeah. Jimmy liked it, didn't you, Jimmy? No, oh, that's right. Okay, so that is in fact three to two. Now come on, Matthew, catch up. Here's an open question. I hope you can answer. What river does the Canadian city of London stand on? <laughs> yes. I was first. It's. I'm sorry, Cheryl. Yes. What? Thames. It does stand on the River Thames. Absolutely right. Though how they don't drown, I don't know. So here's your filling question. Tell. Hang on. I'm, I'm, okay. I'm half winning it. Here's what I want you to do, Cheryl, for your filling question. I want you to tell us something about yourself that you're sure we don't know. <laughs> my feet. My uh, my shoes are size four. Sometimes three and a half. Eh? Hey, did anybody know that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. This is the stuff. The insights here into Bucks Fizz. This is the stuff. As we move on to current affairs and we up the stakes, it's four to two. Now, come on, Matthew. Here's a chance yeah. to catch up. Make finish no, the sandwich. No, no, no. And if you get this right, you get some currency, you get a whole sandwich. Brooke Shields was in hot water this week because she'd been in hot water when she was ten. Yes. <laughs> Who was first? Thanks, Matthew. Photographs taken of her uh, uh, in with uh, Absolutely when she wasn't well. In the bath. <laughs> in the bath. Absolutely in the bar. right, because she was. She knew that immediately there because she yeah. was photographed in the bath when she was ten, and her publishers are worried about the photos affecting her pure image. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anybody who saw Blue gone. Lagoon? I don't think it's a big problem. We'll get no. the so there's, a, <laughs> there's your sandwiches there. A little bit of current, bit of current affairs. It's four to three. Come uh, on now. Anne White was sent off at Wimbledon. Why? Yes. Hold on. Because she had a white cat suit on. She was wearing a white cat suit and was told to change into normal attire. Right. OK, so it's five to three. Now, come on, it's pathetic. Right? Two <laughs> Why would Tommy Steele's brother be glad of half a sixpence right now? Yes. It's gone bankrupt. Absolutely right. Again. That's so much there. That's four to, four to five. Why was John Lloyd celebrating last night? Yes. Because he won. Who did he and meet? And so did his wife. An American with a funny name that sounds... Elliot Tuchin. Tuchin. I'm afraid there, Matthew. She's pipped you at the oh, first. Oh,
Watch it! Get ready, will you? Oh. It's beeping. Come on. Oh. You oh. two. Oh, 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 I don't, I don't, think, I, I don't want you to do this. Why? Because I don't want you to, right? No, come on, Harry, I'm not marrying you. See you later, everyone. Bye. 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 She's the kind of girl who comes around Pick you on the mountain, serves you down To give you a pleasure, then it's all the fun You wish you'd never, cause she's in love with slashing grunts And closing schools, and broken homes, and long dog cues She loves the cut, and I love to vote For one more cut, Maggie's throat It's called a plateful of hateful, one, two, three Out of the 